Hi everyone, hope you're well. Dustin Furlow here over at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. It's my great pleasure to be showing you this brand new Jeff Jewett OM. This is loosely based on the Matt Thomas model, a guitarist I'm sure many of you are familiar with and love. This is essentially a Sinker Mahogany sibling to his guitar. Uh, started carrying Jeff's guitars over at Cedar Rock uh, a little over a year ago, I believe, and um, they've all been very loved by the clients. And so um, Matt and Jeff cooked up uh, a specific bracing pattern and applied it to his OM body, did little tweaks here and there, and uh, they came up with something really nice. And then so Jeff has done a couple models based on that now. And I have to say, it's, it's really great. Jeff's guitars have really evolved in the past few years um, from what my ears have told me, and they just they keep getting better and better. So um, this is a really great example of that. Um, there is all kinds of really interesting woods on this one too. Um, really lovely coca bolo for the binding, uh, the micro bevel and the fingerboard, head cap and the goto tuners. So it's coca bolo is definitely a very beautiful accent to the dark sinker mahogany on this guitar. Really gives it a nice vibe. And um, <clears throat> it's got a nice, a really nice neck that I like. Um, it's semi full without being chunky. Feels really good, very playable. Um, and it has a sound port, which is Jeff's first sound port, from what I gather. I actually texted Matt about this guitar earlier because I was like, you know, you probably talked with Jeff a lot about this guitar as it was being made. So I actually am going to do the old cell phone trick. And uh, Matt sent me a bunch of little details that I did not have the capacity to remember <laughs> in a short period of time. So um, this has three ply laminated sides as well. Um, so triple laminated. Uh, there's a slight wedge, as I mentioned, so the body gets a bit thinner up, up here. Uh, which is very comfortable, obviously. Um, the Matt Thomas bracing design, which again they co-developed, uh, is a forward shifted X and uh, radial fan finger braces. Uh, Adirondack X brace with German spruce tone bars to match the top, which is German spruce. Um, so yeah, Paduke bridge plate, uh, Bra Brazilian rosewood bridge, give it a little bit of a sparkle take some weight off um but yeah i love this guitar it's very the mid-range is very full and enveloping which i like a lot for finger style um you know the notes sort of just push which which to me is a, a really good sign of a well-balanced guitar when the uh the notes that are you know not related to the bass or the melody just sort of you know they have this really good um, presence to them <clears throat> it's got a really sweet inlay here on the 12th fret which of course i'll show some photos of Aesthetically a very balanced and beautiful guitar. I just I'm not sure what this wood is here I texted Matt about that. He didn't answer. He's probably busy with something um, But this wood is just really gorgeous. Whatever it is It uh, really matches quite nicely I'm assuming a magnetic truss rod cap which Matt has on his really nice very tastefully done and Cosmo black goto 510s For the tuners and the neck has a nice satin Finish um, semi-gloss, I would call it. Uh, many of you might know Jeff Jewett is the Finnish guru. He has uh, uh, patented trans tint um, finishes and probably many others of which I'm not aware. He has a really great podcast episode with uh, Michael Bashkin, Luthier on Luthier. Highly recommend checking that out. Um, but uh, yeah, Jeff has really, really got it going on with the tone these days, and I'm really enjoying it. So hope you enjoy the sound clips. If there's any questions about the guitar, feel free to. Uh, message Alan over at uh, cedarrockstudio.com and uh, he'll be happy to answer any questions I couldn't get at it here in this demo. So uh, thanks. Take care. See you next time.